Hey there, it's Scott here. Let's take a minute and walk you through the best sellers function here in DataSpark. So go ahead and get logged in. Once you're logged in and here on the home page, hover over the features drop down up here in the top right corner. And if you select best sellers here from the list, once you land on this empty best sellers graph, uh, you can go ahead and you'll notice all of the category names are up here near the top. So you can select uh, a category that you want to dig into. So you can go ahead and select arts, crafts, and selling. Um, just so you know, it may take just a minute to compile the rankings for you, especially in a large category that has a ton of products. So you'll notice you have a bar here that'll tell you as it's loading. Um, but once the site loads, you should see something like this. Here in the grid, you'll have the products in your category that you chose, and by default, they're sorted by the rank. So you'll notice right here, it shows the current rank for these products showing up in this category, which is a you know a proxy for how well an item uh, is selling or will sell in, in Walmart's marketplace. Um, so you've got the Walmart ID, the URL ID, you've got the title and the relevant images. Um, you then have a number of parameters here that have to do with the rank. So we track the current rank and the averages for some predetermined date ranges, 30, 90, and 180 days, the lowest and the highest rank. Also, we track the number of increases and uh, drops in the rank in those date ranges. We also have a bunch of analysis here with regard to the price. So you can look at the current price as well as the averages in those predetermined date range and the high and low. Um, as well as if you scroll out to the side, we have a number of parameters here with regard to the rating and how many reviews a product might have, the brand, uh, some other uh, information that might be relevant. Um, something to note, uh, if you want to export this data into a spreadsheet so you can do some more manual analysis on it, you can go ahead and you'll notice up here there's a link here that says export with an Excel icon. You can click that and download a uh, the query here into a spreadsheet. Uh, something also to be aware of, um, you probably know this, but DataSpark Access is based on a number of tokens that you have access to based on whether you have a free account or what level of paid account you have. So because in here, in this view, you can pull so many items in just this view, be aware that it may use a large amount of your tokens. So if you're trying to ration them or something, you may want to be careful how you use this. But take a minute, go ahead and poke around the best sellers list so you're familiar with how you might use this to look for new opportunities for you know generating more sales uh, on Walmart's marketplace.